Hi everyone and welcome to a new video. Obviously trapping and receiving is really important in hockey and today we're going to be talking about various ways to trap the ball and to receive the ball. So let's go. All right, so there's many different ways in which you can receive the ball. And today I want to talk about a few. And the first one I want to talk about is receiving strong and that you're actually trying to protect the ball. This is a really important reception because more often than open receiving, you're actually receiving the ball with your back to the goal. And usually there's a defender in your back, so that's what we call strong receiving. And the most important thing when receiving strong is that you have a wide stance so that it's hard for the defender to get the stick around to get the ball. And what you're going to try and do is you're going to try and bring and reach out and stretch your right arm to make sure you can receive the ball just about a nice distance from your foot. So not here, next to your foot where the defender can grab it, but you're actually going to try and receive the ball with a stretched right arm. The left arm will have a bit of a bend, but the right arm needs to be strong in front of your right foot. And from here, it's really hard for the defender to grab the ball. So say you're in the game and you're coming from a certain position into the ball and you see the ball coming that's when you want to do what you want to do is you want to sort of hit the brakes bend your knees try and get your right hand in uh, around this height of the of the grip so nearly near the bottom you can go a bit lower if you want to go down to the ground that's fine but make sure you don't go too high if you go too high then it's really difficult to control the ball and you get more stability if you have your stick in the middle of your hand in the middle of the stick so left hand at the top stretch right arm and from here if the ball uh, enters towards your right foot that's where you want to keep it and you want to keep it there and from here you can either run that way and use your right leg to protect or if the defender comes from the right side receiving here then you can also turn this way and try and be strong like that All right, so an extension on after receiving the ball is that you can use your right leg to, to protect the ball. So when you're practicing this, don't just practice the trap, but also once you've trapped the ball, you can practice to sort of move right with your right foot like this to make sure you can protect the ball. So you can always practice by going this way to protect and then this way to protect the ball. It's also really important that when you receive the ball with your back to goal that you protect it and that you try and look around if maybe there's teammates open to pass but at first you can protect the ball. What I like to do, for example, in a game is when I receive the ball, I like to go to the right with my right foot and then I can maybe step back, create some space and try and look for a pass. So that's the part of trapping with protecting with your right foot. Okay, so uh, trapping a flat pass is obviously easier than a bouncing pass, but also when the ball is bouncing, the technique is a little bit different. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna talk about how to receive the ball when it's bouncing. And like I said before, if the ball is flat, this is your position that you wanna take. However, if you see that the ball is bouncing, what we're gonna try and do is we're gonna bring our right hand down a bit lower and we're gonna try and move our stick a bit more upright. Why? Because then if you don't know whether the ball comes here or here, you're gonna trap it. If you have your stick like this, in the air or on the bottom, if it just bounces over, it's much more difficult to trap the ball. So what we're gonna try and do is we're gonna turn our stick like this to make sure we have a bit of a, a shield or a platform where we can actually trap the ball. All right, so a few things are important when we're trapping like this. As you can see in the, in the first few shots, is that even if you turn your stick a bit like this and it tends to touch this side, it's gonna bounce that way. It's not so bad because if it bounces that way, at least it's to your forehand, at least you can still control it after. The second thing is after you've actually trapped it, what you're gonna try and do is you're gonna try and bring the ball back down to the turf. So if the ball bounces up and you trap it here, then what you can do after is you can tap the top of the ball with your stick to make sure it goes down to the turf and then you can continue and control. The last thing is when you turn your stick, try and bring your left arm out and stretch your left arm to make sure that the stick is vertical like this. So you're running in, you see the ball has a bounce. That's when you turn your left hand like that. And then you get a vertical stick 
and then it's easier to control and bring your right hand down a bit and from here you can control the ball like that. Okay, so now we've looked at receiving strong and receiving a bouncing pass, but also if the ball comes on the backhand, it's also important to be able to receive strong and to protect the ball. So if the ball comes towards the backhand side, obviously if we're receiving open, we can just let it roll and then we can continue our run. However, in this case, we're receiving strong and closed. So when the ball comes there, the defender is in our back. We can't just receive there because then the defender is going to come from the back and he's going to try and steal the ball. So what, what can we do? We can try, flip our arms around like this, make it a cross, so you get your open receive, but then you're gonna move your right foot or your left foot behind the ball. So if the defender comes in with the stick, you can protect it with your foot. And then the most important thing is when you receive, you actually bring the ball back to your forehand. So that's what we're gonna practice now. All right, so a good exercise to do this is to practice your receiving on this side. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna continue and add a shot. So say you're in this situation near the D and you're gonna try and trap the ball there. You wanna bring it back and then hit the reverse. So we're gonna do that a few times. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. There's three ways to improve your strong receiving. See you guys next week. Good luck, bye-bye.